Hello everyone. What's going on? We all know that backing up your iPhone to iCloud is a very important thing to do. But after upgrading to iOS 16, some iOS users sometimes get a disturbing message saying the last backup could not be completed. In today's video, I'll show how to fix this. Method 1. Check Wi-Fi connection. Go to Settings. WLAN. Choose a Wi-Fi in good condition. If you're using Wi-Fi for backup, then make sure your Wi-Fi is working properly. Method 2. Ensure enough iCloud storage. One of the most common reasons for an iCloud backup to fail is because you ran out of iCloud storage. Apple includes 5 gits of iCloud storage space for free. But most users require more space over time. Check your storage space. And increase it if necessary. Method 3. Sign out of iCloud, and then sign back in. Go to Settings. Tap your name. Scroll down to the bottom. Tap Sign Out. And then immediately sign back in. Enter your Apple ID and password. This can sometimes fix any lingering issues with iCloud. Method 4. Check the Apple System Status page. Go to this site. Check the Apple System Status page to make sure iCloud backup isn't experiencing issues. If your iCloud backup fails, sometimes it might be a problem on Apple's end. Method 5. Backup iPhone with iCare Phone Alternative Backup. If all the above solutions can't solve your problem, then here I recommend you a very powerful third-party tool that can help you backup your data for free. Using Tenorshare iCare Phone is a new way to backup all your data to PC. It can transfer more than 100 gigabytes within 20 minutes to your iPhone. And it also supports backup of all data type. Download the software via the link in description below and launch it. When it connects to your iPhone, click Backup and Restore. Click Backup. You can choose to backup all the data or just select the part you want. Here we just select all data. You can set the backup to any location as you like. Then click Backup iCareFone will start to back up your iPhone. Once done, you can even view the backup data. If you want to restore backup, just click Restore to Device. It will start to restore. The process will not be long. This depends on the size of the data you are backing up. Then it's done. If I were you, I would choose this method as the main way to backup. Not only is it free, efficient, but you can also view your backup data. Okay. Here is today's tutorial. Hope you like it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you succeed in one of the methods. If you like this video, you can subscribe us. Stay tuned for our next videos.